I tell you this. Two banks we have collected money from. The one of Access Bank will expire November this year. We took loan from them and they collected 950 million every month. So it will expire November this year. Another loan we took from Zener Bank, which will expire in March next year. So these are the two banks. Any other loan is had to do with okay, Central Bank, which of course you know it takes a infrastructure loan, you say you should pay the most is wrong for it because it's uh, you don't pay a huge uh, uh, this is. Our loans that under the military that they have collected before we came, which they did not from us through fact. So all projects have been paid for? All there's no project I have started that I will live here without paying for it. All right. Even the ones I'm awarding now, I pay fifty percent. So I don't do projects when there's no money. Your Excellency, we have just about three, four minutes to end this session. And let's end on the development handles. Recently, you signed three laws. Uh, you signed the River State Prohibition of the Containment of Women's Right to Share a Family Property, Law Number 2 of uh, 2022. You also signed the River State Compulsory Treatment and Care of Victims of Gunshot Law Number 3 of 2022. Then there's River State Pension Reform Amendment Law Number 4. But the first one is of interest to so many people. Yes, in fact. Are, are you saying that this has been a problem in River State all these years? No, Women have been denied. No, just the person. One thing I'm so happy to hear that I'm leaving office as a happy man is that I signed this law that prohibits or denies women of their right, simply because they are women. I've never seen a society that develops without women contributing. How can any man at this point in time will tell me, I have a daughter, and my daughter has married, and therefore, she has nothing in the father's house? What kind of society is that? Two, my daughter did not get married to anybody. And therefore, she has no say in the father's house. How can such society develop? And for me, this is one achievement I've made. Is that achievement of abrogating that custom? Custom. Yes. Recognize the natural justice. I mean, Natural law, equity, and justice. How can you anybody? Look, at you have a daughter. You sent her to school. Very intelligent girl. She has a master's, she has a PhD. And then you have even the boys who don't even do well. And the other interested is all because the father has something. They begin to do whatever. And then the girl that will make you proud because she's a, daughter, she's, a child, she's a girl, she's not entitled to anything. I will not accept that. Why did I send that to school? Two, even in political offices, it's very difficult, I can tell you. Forget about the men who come out on national television to preach. I, in this state, it has been a problem for me. To make a woman a counselor is a problem. Even a, a, a chairman of the local government is a problem. When we sat down, most of the politicians, all of them, not even 98% of them, refused. They said, no, sir, uh, governor, uh, go and do your own local government. Mm -hmm. So, that's okay. I have to appoint a woman to be chairman of my local government, mm -hmm. Cardinal Committee. When we came for the office, I saw that there was sabotage. That's okay. Every local government must have a woman as deputy chairman. <laughs> I said, yes, I did it. Two, every local government must have at least not less than four or five women councillors. There were a moment I said, I'm sorry, too, too bad. I mean, I can't understand the society we are. Look, I was, uh, I can tell you the truth. When I was from the uh, uh, city council, the ladies there were one of the, uh, the best, I can tell you. And, and I'm sure you can even speak to that because your wife also has proven to be... Yes, yes. Uh, okay, so, okay, now see, I have a wife. Doing very well. 
intelligent woman, the judge of the high court. And then you tell me she had no rights in her family. In her family. What kind of situation is that? Okay. Who allows that? Yeah. So today I'm happy. If I'm going with anything, that one that I have. About. So women now can go now and challenge any so called custom that said they don't have a right over their father's property. Your